One very deserving local military family is celebrating their newly remodeled home. With the help from several organizations in our community, this incredible project became a reality. One, two, three. Oh, this is so cool. Cheryl and Barry Barton, along with their three sons, couldn't believe their eyes. After seeing their newly renovated home for the first time, it was all made possible by REIG. It's their Operation Renovation Program. The Barton family was selected out of 60 applicants to have their Spring Valley home transformed with the help from the Home Depot Foundation over and over 100 volunteers. The Bartons say this renovation is going to make life a lot easier, especially when it comes to taking care of their son, Christopher, who is wheelchair bound. Well, this morning we have Navy Intelligence Specialist Barry Barton, his nine-year-old son Matthew here, who both woke up in their newly remodeled home last night. We also have Patrick Clark, who is the owner and CEO of REIG. Gentlemen, good morning. Thank you so much for coming in. We do appreciate it. Well, good morning, and thank you for having us. Uh, uh, let's start with you, Matthew. What was it like to wake up in your new home last night? Was that pretty cool? Yes. Yeah? What did you think when you walked in for the first time? What was the coolest part of the renovation for you? The backyard. The backyard. A lot of room to play soccer back there, I bet, right? Very cool. Okay, Barry, um, tell me a little bit about your story. We were talking during the commercial break, and we mentioned your son, uh, your five-year-old, who's in a wheelchair. Um, the renovation, I can only assume, helped tremendously with that, that need. Um, yes, it did. Um, it helped with our daily to daily life um, with the renovation. Um, so my son, Christopher, was born with CMV, cyclomegalovirus. It's the leading cause of child disabilities in um, the nation. Mm -hmm. um, one, in, one in 150 babies are born with this uh, virus. 80% um, of adults have it by the time they, have, or they are an adult, and the other 20% get it um, eventually. So um, my wife, unfortunately, got it, was the rare 20% and got it when she was pregnant with my son mm -hmm. Christopher and passed it congenitally to uh, the baby, my baby uh, Christopher. And um, it left him severely disabled. Um, CMV affects people in different ways. So some people range from being severely disabled to being perfectly normal. And uh, unfortunately for Christopher, do you think he'll be wheelchair bound? Is that is that his future at this um, point? I, right now, it is his future. Um, there's not a lot of things that you can do. Um, but um, when we, when Christopher was diagnosed with CMV, and my wife um, found out that she had it when he was born, um, there was not a lot of information about CM, CMV. So we were able to um, go on the internet and didn't find anything. But there's one foundation that really stood out was uh, StopCMV.com, and because of them, now uh, there's a lot more awareness. There's now. awareness out. He's in a wheelchair. The renovations helped uh, transforming the home, getting rid of the carpet, putting in a laminate floor to make the wheelchair easier to move around, transforming the back. Your youngest son, though, who's how old? He's three years old. So you have the five-year-old's uh, the one that's dealing uh, with this issue. The three-year-old just had open heart surgery. Yes, he had uh, open heart surgery in December due to a. Uh, congenital heart disease. Mm. Um, he had a hole in his heart which caused the right side of his heart to be bigger and um, so he had that was fixed in December. Um, a week, within a week he was back to normal playing and stuff and so he healed up pretty quickly. So uh, he'll be enjoying that backyard as well. Oh, Thank yes, goodness for the doctors who are uh, giving your family some help as well. Not only are the doctors helping you guys out, but uh, the folks over at REIG. Patrick, this program is amazing. You had 60 applicants uh, all needing their homes renovated. What made the Barton family stand out? I mean, I can kind of kind of guess by the story that Barry just shared. Yeah, absolutely. Just the sacrifice that, that Barry makes, uh, you know, serving his country and uh, being a veteran myself, it was at the heart of, of us to really do more and get out there and have an impact. and. And uh, it, the story's about you know both the Bartons and and getting a, you know now getting awareness out for their son Christopher Christopher and CMV, but also just the heart of the organization and 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 really we're blessed you know the Lord's doing a lot of work in us and through a company and the heart of the people to see the community come together to donate their time and and talents uh, for this project is is really inspiring to be a part of and. And, uh, you know, we couldn't have picked a better family than, than the Bartons to, to, to honor them with this and just give them a home that's uh, comfortable and a sanctuary for them to, to raise their family. Your website, because I'd like to, to let you give yourself a shout out here mm -hmm. this morning in case folks are interested in what you do. Can you give that out for folks? Yeah, the, people can check out reigoperationrenovation.com. We, we, like as Barry said, this is the first one. We want to do more. We want to do three more of these this year. So we're Three more this year? Absolutely. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew, enjoy your new house. Enjoy your new backyard. Will you send us some pictures of you guys playing back there? We'd love to see what, what you're up to.
Sounds good. All right, Barry, thank you for your service to our country. And give your wife a hug, too. Three little boys is a lot of work uh, alone, let alone dealing with some health problems at the same time. Not easy. Yes, All right, thanks. Gentlemen, thanks. Thank